guys welcome back to another video so the halloween season is approaching and your girl is excited to get started on some halloween diys so with this little diy i am going to be sprucing up this witch she'll be stirring up a mixture in her cauldron most of the items i picked up from the dollar tree except for the cauldron i picked up from walmart.com so if you're interested stay tuned so now I'm just going to be using some semi-gloss black spray paint to spray my witch. I gave her two coats of spray paint. I made sure to spray my edges good as well. All right, so now you see me using my Dollar Tree battery pack Halloween lights. I thought it was going to be so easy just to glue these lights down, but it wasn't. I actually had to go get some tape to hold the wire in place while the glue dried. I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these lights glued down to the back of my witch. I am finally done laying my lights down and I just glued the battery pack to the back of the witch. She's all done. Let's see what she looks like with the lights out. I absolutely love the way this came out, how the orange lights are glowing behind her. But I was looking at it and then I started thinking maybe I should go back and coat her again with another layer of black um, paint because of the light showing through right here. But then again, now I'm looking at it I kind of like it. If I make any changes to it, I'll probably go and put some paste um, in the top part of the witch's hat to close that hole and then paint that black. But other than that, I love it. This is the witch's cauldron that I told you I purchased from walmart.com. I absolutely love this little gadget. It is small, it's not too big, and I needed something that was small that wouldn't take up a lot of space because I wanted something to give that off that fog effect like something is boiling and coming up out of the witch's cauldron. So I picked this up again from Walmart. Um, I believe I paid $15 for it. I'll make sure I leave the link below. All right, guys, I have her all set up. I'm so excited for you all to see this. You want to pour a half a bottle of water in this cauldron because you don't want to fill it up too high because you'll see in a few minutes how the water can bubble over. But I have her filled halfway and ready to go. So let's see her with the lights out. <laughs> I absolutely love her. I love the way the lights turn colors in the cauldron and the fog coming up out of the cauldron. I love it. Um, as you can see to the right, the water is dripping out of the cauldron. So I am going to put something underneath it when I actually put it up um, for Halloween. I pour a, a little bit more water in it so I can have even more fog coming out. I just love this. I think this was my favorite DIY. comment and subscribe and let me know what you thought of this DIY and until next time bye